Good morning, everybody. It's Robert coming to you from not the old bird farm, but Dr. Stanford's old drugstore. And if you saw the video about this building on Sidestep Adventures, uh, you will have seen the history of it. Um, and so today I'm going to start removing vines off of this building. Um, we're just trying to kind of make it look a little bit better. So I've got a ladder out here. So I'm pretty involved in the local historic society. So I told the owner the other day when we were discussing this building and how to save it, or this wall, I should say here, and how to save it, that I'd come out here and get the uh, get the vines off of it because they're not doing it any good. And I will generally just start to kind of clean the area up. So got a ladder out here, gonna crawl up there. And uh, if there's anybody that's good at killing vines, it's me. So we'll do this carefully so we don't pull the wall down accidentally. Right, so we definitely want to get all this stuff out of this building for its structural integrity because uh, these bricks aren't in terribly good shape. That's why we've got some people coming, some structural engineers, uh, to actually look at this building and how to properly save it. But we definitely don't want these vines in here pushing these bricks apart anymore. Same with those up there. I'm also a little bit worried about pulling on these vines too hard. Of course, they broke, so it doesn't pull down any loose brick. But so far, so good. All right, definitely, definitely better. Let's try to do something on the other side. And looky here, we've actually got scaffolding over here. So that's great. Uh, I can get up a little bit higher. As we can see up here where the, this vine is growing into the brick right there and definitely don't want that. Um, you know, if you've got any kind of brick structure or something with vine growing on it, you don't want that to happen because it's going to start growing in these cracks and crevices and pushing the bricks apart. So this one we're going to have to cut down.
All right, so you can see that's where the vine is growing through the brick. So we definitely want to get that out of there because that'll just cause these bricks to push apart. Um, these bricks also, a lot of them need to be repointed, obviously, and some need to be replaced. Um, when you use mortar, you have to use the right mortar with these bricks because they're so all they're so old. Um, they're softer brick, softer than modern bricks. So you can't use modern mortar. You have to use a uh, a soft mortar that'll work with these bricks. And most of those are just mortar recipes because they're not used very commonly anymore. This glass really needs to come down. You can see right here where this big vine is right here between this brick and this door frame pushing on that so i'm going to cut it on the other side and it's been cut down here already previously but it, it needs to come out and definitely stop growing A lot of people mistake this for poison ivy. This ain't nothing more than Virginia creeper though. Ladies and gentlemen, this certainly looks better than it did with all those vines hanging on it. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day for today messing with this. Uh, I do need to get a taller ladder out here so I can lean it up against there and get to some of this stuff up here that I can't reach with the ladder I've got out here. But I've got a nice tall one at the Old Bird Farm so I'll bring it up here another day. It is amazing how these plants can just find any, uh, any little place to grow. And I mean, you know, it's a, Look at that, that's how much root system it had. And it's pretty, not gonna lie, it's pretty with the vines growing up the wall and that little plant finding its way in the corner of the brick. But it's not good for the preservation of this building and that's the focus right now. So that's gonna be it for today. I'm really glad I had the opportunity to come out here and help out the, the owner of this building and also the look of the town out here to uh, and try to preserve you know something else in Waverly Hall and uh, keep it around for a little bit longer like I said there's supposed to be um, architectural engineers coming out to look at it and uh, figure out how to stabilize it uh, I've seen a lot of these hollow buildings stabilized like this in other towns they usually use like uh, 
wrought iron on the back bolted through it with footers so definitely possible just got to get the right people out here to do it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this it's pretty enjoyable for me don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh we'll see you next time